to Moments with Marianne. I'm so delighted we're spending this time here today. We have a very powerful show coming right up. And our special guest today is none other than Whitney Reynolds. Now, Whitney has just written a book, and most of you know her. She's the PBS show host of the Whitney Reynolds Show in Chicago. And her new book, Beyond the Interview, A 52-Week Guide of Inspiration, was just released today. So we get to share that with her. The Whitney Reynolds Show, which is Emmy-nominated, educates, motivates, and makes a difference one topic at a time. So I'm so delighted that we get to spend some time with Whitney today on the release of her book, Beyond the Interview. So let's welcome to the show, Whitney. Hello. It's great to be on here. Oh, what a pleasure it is to have you here. I've got to say, in media, you're like one of my favorite people. So I'm so excited to hear that you had a book. Yeah, you know, we decided to take our interviews a bit further than what you see on the show because what we were noticing is our viewers, they were tuning in weekly, and um, we gave these awesome thoughts, but we wanted to take it a step further, so we did a 52-week guide of inspiration, and they're from our most powerful interviews over the last eight seasons, but it's with a new theme. Mm. Well, and i got to tell you, just kind of going through some of these interviews, and we'll dive into this in just a little bit. I mean, it was so heart. Yeah, I could just feel the heart with all of it. And that's kind of some of the things that you're known for, just honest, heartfelt communication and journalism. And for our yeah. listeners that are new with you, why don't you share a little bit about, like, what started you on this path and how did you become the great success in media that you are today? Oh, you're so kind to say that. And actually, um, it's funny that you should ask, about how it all evolved because even in the last year, more dots have connected with my story because of this book, and I'll get to that in a moment. But mm-hmm. the show, I, as a little girl, I dreamed of being a talk show host. So when I was little, other girls were playing with Barbies. I was literally interviewing people in my living room. I would make my friends throw on Halloween costumes, and those became my guests. My mom had what <laughs> think is like a tank of a camera back in the day. I still don't know how she lifted that thing. But um, my parents always believed in the dream with me, and I think that's really, really crucial to why I kept going with it. But my family actually went through a very unique situation whenever I was young, and I, I'm not ready to quite – talk about that openly yet. However, what I realized is people all have a story and families go through difficult things. And on my show, I wanted to be able to talk about these topics that everyone faces, but not exploit them and make sure that we share delicate stories correctly. And that's really how the Whitney Reynolds show stepped into its full mission in this last year. And I was riding, I was looking at these interviews and I was just, um, you know, I'd already had the interviews on the set. And so when I was working on this book and I was, you know, re-watching and going through these stories, I, mean, I couldn't help but just have chills and tears. And I mean, I'm telling you that all the emotions were there because these are really delicate issues yet there is so much hope and inspiration that comes out of them, and that's what we're about. Oh, you are known for that, and that's one of the many reasons I – there's many of reasons, but one of the many reasons I appreciate you and the work that you do because it's really – it's bringing ordinary people or people who have gone through situations that are situations that we're all dealing with and being able to come out the other side and go, hey, if I can do it, you can too. Absolutely, and take someone else by the hand and say, we're going through it together, or Mm -hmm. I've been there and I'm going to lead you through. So, yeah, that is exactly what – and, you know, we live in a society where some people are, like, afraid to talk about their – I don't want to say necessarily dirty laundry, but, you know, they're afraid to talk about maybe their baggage or – but what what we need to remember is that all those steps that might not be as pretty, they might have been steps in the valley, but they were steps – on your journey to get you where you're going today. And obviously, they brought you pretty darn far. Yeah, it's just all part of the each step that we take. Well, and so I know you've done a ton of interviews with some amazing people. Was it really hard to, like, pick the ones that you wanted to have in your book? You know, for me, 
it it was because every show, every guest is absolutely amazing, and I've handpicked each person on that show for that topic, and I've worked with them, and I I know their mission, and it's amazing. But with the book, I wanted it to be very well rounded because we are telling delicate you know, delicate issues, tough topics, but I wanted some of health. I wanted some of hope. I, um, you know, I really just wanted it to be well-rounded, so I looked at some of those. And I didn't want it to just be full of celebrities because we've had a lot of celebrity interviews over the years, but these ordinary stories are some of the most magnificent ones that I've done. Mm-hmm. What, I mean, it, I, I'm not going to ask you which one's your favorite because it'd be like trying to pick a favorite between your two beautiful children, and we wouldn't do that. <laughs> Yeah, no, that would be a tough one. And actually, I have three kids. I do have a Shih Tzu, too, a Mm 13-year-old one this week. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, they are definitely part of the family and sometimes even bigger babies. It just depends. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. So when you, um, like, what are some of the stories that really, like, grab your heart? Well, one of the... Week 52, which is how we round out everything, is is with this Paralympic athlete, Mallory, and she is talking about never being alone. And not only does she open up about her journey of how she, um, you know, is in a wheelchair, but she also, like, swimming in the Olympics, the Paralympics, she was able to do this. And um, knowing that her family's with her, even in the water, was what got her through, that knowing that she had people along her side, that one is just one that I – you know, had to let people know you are never alone. Also, week 46, we we have a fun one, Know What You're Looking For. Now, this one was with Bella Gandhi, and Bella's a a phenomenal woman. She's on a lot of different morning shows, um, and she helps people identify what they're looking for in a relationship. And so she helps people, like, pinpoint what they're looking for and help the person find love. And I think, you know, some of these are fun. Some of them are tough. Um, You know, we featured Syria as well. We have a doctor that risked his life. And in the book he talks about being on this road that he doesn't know how the road's going to go because he's literally rushing in to save people, but he feels like we must all do our part. And so there's these themes with it. Um, Jeremy Courtney, When to Reject Fear, he does the Preemptive Love Coalition, and they are in Syria as well, just working, being the people that are just helping, you know, bring hope to these people. So there's so many different good interviews throughout that. We have Temple Grandin with autism, and we have um, Zach Schrantz with finding your purpose and adoption and what that looks like. And, you know, Marion, I keep, I keep going back to – I wanted this book to be very full of a lot of different thoughts because there's mm-hmm. not just one way to look at something. And so I wanted to make sure that we were fulfilling that for whoever reads this book. Well, and I think that's so wisely put because a lot of times it's so easy for people to kind of get stuck in their um, kind of their train of thinking where it's kind of like my problems are unique to me, my situations are unique to me, no one's going through what I'm going through. And so when you hear stories of other people who have overcome, it really does provide a lot of inspiration and hope. And that is, that is so true. It's just it's amazing to know that people have been in the same valley or maybe a very, very different type of situation, yet they are rising above. And I, and I love that. And with each of these themes, you know, there's everything from caring can empower to every person has value. Now, that thing Mm -hmm. came out of Gigi's Playhouse and um, the Down Syndrome Achievement Awareness Center. And so, but that that mother is saying every person matters. And that's what's really, it's really cool because these themes, and I mean, and I encourage people to really take it the 52 weeks. Like, my husband wanted to speed read through. I mean, he was like, you know, go, go gadget David. He was just reading it and he was flipping through. And I said, it's really intended. And it, and I say it's a 52 week guide because these thoughts are very deep. And what I want people to do is think about it and kind of marinate on that for the week and think about how they can apply that in their own life. Yeah. And, you know, there, there is such inspiration and the people you chose, you, you could tell it's very carefully crafted to fit that. So that, you know, when the reader is picking this up or your viewers are purchasing your book beyond the interview and picking it up and reading it, they're making this emotional connection that can carry them through that week. 
Mm -hmm. Exactly. That, and that's, that's what we wanted to achieve. You know, our show comes on once a week on PBS, and I wanted to give our viewers something else they can do in the in-between and kind of a goal set, you know, like, hey, I want to be a better person or I maybe want to look at this in my life or, um, you know, we have a lot on health in here too, and or I want to be healthier in this way, and that way it gives someone – it gives these people a way to actually achieve the goals and think about it a little bit. Well, and so for this next season that's coming up, I mean, today your book was released and you've got a new season. What things can we look for? Because I know you always have new and exciting show guests and ideas that um, hit your show. Yeah, so we have Pastor Jalinda Wade, Dwayne Wade's mama. She is kicking off our season opener. And get this, she – was a woman that was addicted to drugs, homeless, had no hope in her life. She even says that I was, I was looking in all the wrong places. And she had a miraculous turnaround behind the bars. And so our show is called Homeless to Hopefulness with Pastor Jalinda Wade. And what she does is she opens up about her rough journey, but it leading her to where she is today. And so she'll be, um, she'll be just there. She's actually coming to our party, and um, she's going to be live with me to watch the show unfold because she is, she is one of those people that has used what she went through, not only just raising a superstar. So she's raised one of the best athletes of our time. However, she's saying, okay, my life wasn't all these things that they look like now. Here's actually where I am. And she's helping kids on the south side. So that's our season opener, which really just sets, kind of the bar of where we're going. We are also talking drowning this season. We have a very amazing story of a mother and, a, and her two kids. I don't want to give away too much because I want you to yeah. know there is a happy ending, but it will have you on the edge of your seat. And on that show, we do have Michael Phelps as well. And his son, Boomer, they, I got to interview them, and he talks just about how important it is to train our kids on water safety. And, you know, me having two young twins, I, I hear it. I see it. I know that we do need to train our kids, but sometimes it's one of those things that you just forget about because you think, oh, everyone mm -hmm. can swim, and the reality is, um, no, not everyone can. And it's really important that our kids know, you know, the dangers of water, and then also people know CPR. So we talk about that. We do a show on hunger this season, and that seems like an issue and a topic that I just was scratching my head on, like, why is this still an issue? 2018, why are people still hungry? It does not make sense to me. And so we break that down on how we actually can solve, you know, this, um, you know, question that's been lurking in the corner over the years is why are people still hungry? And so we kind of break that down, which is, it was truly amazing. And we talk MS this season. We are talking about moving mountains with multiple sclerosis. So people that are saying, I'm taking my diagnosis and I'm pushing on. And so it's really just an amazing, I mean, if you're not in the Chicagoland market or the Quad Cities, I really encourage you to go to WhitneyReynolds.com and watch it on Fridays. Because, Well, that's when it hits or watch it anytime. Mm -hmm. But that is really a season of motivation and knowing that you're not alone in this journey. But also, it kind of gets you kind of more bold to share your story because we all have one. And that's what's really important is that we are able to know, like, I, my story too counts. Yeah. I mean, everyone has a story and that adds value to the discussion. And I love how you're able to piece them together. So you do it so well where we're able to see, gosh, you know, there's such value there and it relates to me. And we just learn so much from these different interviews. Well, thank you. Yeah, you know, every show we have experts on and we have celebrities weigh in. And then we have everyday people like you and like me that w can tell you, I've been there, I'm going through this, and here's what I know. Yeah, and what's going on? Well, and so you've, I mean, you've always got so much going on, and I, I just always in great awe about that because, of course, you do have two and, well, actually three because we talked about that. But you've got these two beautiful babies and your doggie. <laughs> and yeah, don't forget puppy too. I can't forget the doggy. No, no, no. <laughs> and so with everything going on, it how is it like balancing, you know, this great career, the the work life, the home life, all of that? You seem to make it look very easy. 
Well, that is so funny that you should say that because I sometimes feel like I'm the circus ring leader. That is what I, I think I should just have like my apron say like circus captain right here because the way I describe our house and um, kind of our life right now is a season of beautiful chaos because it is mm-hmm. really, I mean, having, I guess what you would say toddlers now and they're running around and um, being a wife to my husband, I mean, these are all very important things to me. Like, as much as my show is is a lot of, like, I love my show. I love my family ten times million more. So, like, being a good wife and mother is, like, top of my radar of what's important to me. So what's cool is knowing that your show or your work is making a difference in your home life, too. Like, what's really neat about that is, being able to tell my kids to live their truth and to Mm -hmm. chase their dreams and for them to actually see their parents doing it. That's been one of the coolest things. And then for them, I mean, they're teaching me things daily, like not letting, you know, the weight of the world, you know, weigh you down essentially because kids live with so much joy. Naturally, they're joyful. And I, I see them and I say, oh, we should all just live like like these little kids, you know. So balancing it all, um, I'd have to say every day is a new learning curve. And um, with every <laughs> yeah. with every month, two of their development, I mean, I, I found myself singing Party on the Potty this week. Never in a million years would I have found myself, <laughs> would think I would <laughs> a song about partying on the potty. But you know what? That's the season of life we're in, and we're gearing up for um, potty training, and so we're all singing that tune at our house right now. <laughs> well, and, and I'm sure that tune will change as it continue to grow. You'll have different new hit songs in the house based on what's happening, but the, I'm sure that they you know, are having such an experience going, gosh, you know, we can tell that family comes first with mom, and how great is that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really it's really important for me, especially owning my talk show and being an entrepreneur. I want to make sure I'm always a mompreneur first, knowing that my I'm investing in my kids first, and that's mm-hmm. been really important to me. And it and it's hard, you know. It, it does feel like a juggling act at times, but um, just keeping knowing that, you know, you you can have the best of both worlds. You know, so many times people think it has to be one way or the other, but it's finding what works for you. And um, and so far we've been able to really navigate that. And, you know, there's times where we struggle with it too, and I have to take a step back and say, okay, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do things a little bit differently because I need to make sure that I'm prioritizing things right. And that's okay too. Yeah, making those adjustments as you go. I know you had the opportunity to interview one of my favorite people um, J.J. Burden, and I think he's just such an amazing and inspirational person. I, I would be remiss if we didn't at least talk about him a little bit. We're not going to talk about all of the 52 weeks, of course, because we want people to go out and purchase their own book, Beyond the Interview, yeah. which I have. I went and got it, and I love it. So um, it. <laughs> you guys support the authors, you know, so go and get that at your website. But, you know, so why don't you share a little bit about, like, how was that interview for you? Because, I mean, JJ is just, I, I find him to be, like, one just great inspiration. Yeah, JJ, he is. He is actually our week 42. And on the show, he came on to, um, to open up about making the decision to basically open up his house. And that's one of those things that, um, you know, being a, being a safe place, is one of the greatest gifts that you can give someone. And J.J. Mm -hmm. in the studio was phenomenal. He does have that charismatic personality, like you said. That's the one thing about the book is I want people to also make sure to follow up with these interviews because the interviews of these people, sometimes, you know, you can't necessarily hear J.J.'s charisma in this. And, um, I mean, you know he's a wonderful person, but seeing him speak is one of those things that you're just like, wow, what a decision. So he he opened up his house and became a safe haven, and it was it's beautiful. My family adopted last year, and um, to see it kind of before my eyes and see how that all works, to know that other people are out there, you know, opening up their homes to be a safe place for other kids is just a wonderful thing. And so with JJ's week, a time to commit, we um, we talked about being able to make that call of when it is time to commit because so often we're, Mm -hmm. you know, running around and we don't always want to just pull the trigger on something. And sometimes it's really important that we do that. 
Yeah, yeah, and of course we want people to purchase beyond the interview. And where can they get that at, Whitney? Yeah, so you can go to WhitneyReynolds.com backslash store, and it is right there. It is twelve ninety five plus shipping and handling, which is three ninety five. And so we have the book right there. I am personally still signing it. I'm going to be doing this um, for a few more months because it has been every book that sold, it really is going to make a difference in helping our show even go a little bit further, which is so amazing. And so I want to make sure that you know you're appreciated by me. So WhitneyReynolds.com backslash store, they can get it right there. And then I, I'm doing some speaking events. I'm doing a mini book tour. And so um, anywhere I'm at, which I have the calendar on my website, I am doing um, book signings there as well. Well, I know everyone's going to be running to your website not only to purchase the book beyond the interview and to become connected with these great people that – You've interviewed, connect with you, listen to the interviews, and just get involved in the greater discussion that's being had here. Yeah, you know, that's what it takes. It takes people coming alongside saying, okay, I'm going to share my story too, or okay, I've been through this as well. And, um, and I'm so excited for everyone that's listening to join our journey. Oh, well, we won't keep you from your party anymore because I know you're doing your, you know, you've got your party going on right now. We're able to pull you away for a little bit. But thank you so much for taking the time to be with us here today, Whitney. Thank you so much for having me, and I hope all of you all have a wonderful time. And don't forget to watch the show, WhitneyReynolds.com. Well, as Whitney returns back to her party, we're going to wish her congratulations on the release of her new book, Beyond the Interview. Make sure to jump over to her website, WhitneyReynolds.com, and go to the store where you can go ahead and purchase the book. Well, we're at the end of our time today. I would like to thank everyone for tuning in. You've been listening to Moments with Marianne. And remember, make every moment count. In a single moment, your life can change. Moments with Marianne is a transformative hour that covers an endless array of topics with the best of the best. Her guests are leaders in their fields, ranging from inspirational authors, top industry leaders, and business and spiritual entrepreneurs. Each guest is gifted and a true visionary, a recognized leader in her own work. And while teaching others to develop, refocus, and grow, Marianne will bring the best guest and sometimes a special surprise. Don't miss this. You never know just which moment will change your life forever. Moments with Mary Ann airs every Thursday, Friday, and Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. Make sure to tune in and visit momentswithmaryann.com for more information. Thank you.